I was born, it used to be Eastern Poland, and I was born in 1927. When the Nazis came, they killed almost all the Jews in my town, and my father decided, because we were close to the Hungarian border, and my father decided the children had a better chance to escape. So he sent away me and my younger brother that lives in Israel first, and then he was going to join us. So me, I was 14 and a half and he was 12, and we ran away to Hungary. From there we got to Budapest, and then managed with 50 children to come to Palestine. We arrived in Palestine in January of 43. And my father and my mother and my older brother came later and they got caught in Hungary and they sent them back to Poland. And they didn't survive. My father said, remember kids, if I don't join you, make sure that nobody ever feels sorry for you. And the second thing, make sure that you become very educated because the only thing they cannot take away from you is what you have in your head unless they kill you. I fought in the Liberation War of Palestine in 47 started. I was an engineer by profession so they put me in a battleship, and especially they used me to bring transports of Jews from Europe to Palestine because I spoke many languages. I first came to New York in 51. I was going to go to MIT in Boston, but my English wasn't good enough, and they wanted me to go to prep school for six months to improve my English. So, but I didn't like the weather in Boston and I didn't have that much money. I took the Greyhound bus and I went to California. I was very independent as a young man. Never was afraid of any work or anything. My business was an idea, something in the construction, because they were advertising at that time that a thousand new people arrive in California every day. So I figured if a thousand new people come in California every day, they're going to need a place to live. So I decided that something could, in, in real estate it will have a big future. For me, it was very important that the world should not forget about the Holocaust. It's very hard to understand how the world let it happen, including to myself that I saw what happened. I sometimes don't sleep at night and I think we're making it up. And since I lost most of my family in the Holocaust, I lost a lot of uncles, aunts, first cousins, and my older brother and my parents. I wanted people to learn more about the Holocaust. So then I first built a monument in Pan Pacific Park. It's already existed. And we had always bringing young people to talk to Holocaust survivors. And we also had once a year, we brought between three and four thousand people on Yom HaShoah, usually on Sunday, to talk about people making speeches about the Holocaust. So in the beginning, I insisted, I was on the committee, that a museum should be built in a public park. So people that don't know anything about the Holocaust, and they'll see a museum, they want, they're going to want to see what it is. And this way, they're going to learn more about the Holocaust. So this museum is mainly to teach people about the Holocaust, not just Jews, everybody, forever.